Englewood, Florida is a small beach town on Florida's Gulf Coast. In this video, we're going to show you some of our favorite things about the area and some of the things that make people come back over and over again. If you're looking to buy or sell a home in the area, make sure to call, text, or email us. I am a local realtor here. My information will be in the description box below. Call or text at any time. We're always going to have your best interest and happiness in mind when buying or selling a home in the area. This is my favorite area in Englewood. It's right across from the beach. There is a lot of different bars and restaurants. Some of them to note are the Waverly, the White Elephant, Lock and Key, and there's a few more, but those are probably some of the bigger ones a lot of people will tell you about. These restaurants offer great food, great tropical drinks, and there's typically live music. Especially in the evenings, there's actually a pretty good night crowd and scene going on in the Inglewood Beach area, so definitely something to check out if you like nightlife. And as you can see, there's some other little beach-themed shops and stores. Right across from all of this is Englewood Beach. Englewood Beach is a great beach. It has this boardwalk, which is pretty cool to do. Also has a basketball court, a playground, bathroom and shower facilities, as well as picnic tables and horseshoes. Parking is not free at this beach. However, later in this video, we'll cover some beaches where parking is free. And that boardwalk that Haiti mentioned is really nice because sometimes you want to go to the beach and you don't want to get sand in your feet. That's a great option to just hang out by the beach and not have to do so. And one other popular popular thing to do at the beach is hunt for prehistoric shark teeth and seashells. Venice, Florida, just to the north of it, kind of gets the notoriety for that, but Inglewood's probably just as good for this. Another must-know spot in Englewood is Therborn Street. This is the downtown area in Englewood and this is where the art fest and farmers markets take place. The farmers market is one of the biggest ones in the nearby cities. Yeah, honestly, that farmers market is pretty amazing in my opinion. And on Dearborn Street, there's also a lot of different little coffee shops, shops, restaurants. Mango Bistro is a place I really like going to. Joe Max Coffee is a really good place. And it definitely has a lot of that old Florida feel, but actually the video that you're seeing on screen right now is before some renovations got finished. They literally just got finished as we were doing this voiceover. So if you're ever in the area, make sure you go to Dearborn Street, check it out. It looks much different, much newer, much cooler. But it was already pretty cool, if I'm being honest. And when you're on Dearborn Street, it almost feels like you're on this small, old tropical island that's just been there for years and years and has a lot of local businesses. If you're looking for a quieter beach away from the crowds and the tourists, then Minnesota Key Beach is the place to go. One kind of cool thing about this beach is in the sidewalks going up to the beach, there's actually little shark's teeth baked right into the sidewalk. Well, maybe not baked, but they put them in there. Although this beach is much smaller, like the, the sand area, it's smaller than Englewood Beach. It's still a pretty cool beach and you can find shark's teeth as well as different kinds of shells. They also have wash stations at this beach. This beach also has bathrooms, picnic tables, grills, and free parking. <laughs> And that's an important one. One of the cool thing about this beach is it has a very natural, unspoiled sort of look. Unlike a lot of beaches in Florida now where you have big condos or tourist attractions or restaurants right by the beach, this one just gives you a little bit more of a nature-centric vibe. Another quieter beach is Blind Pass Beach. This beach also is unspoiled. There is a lot of parking. And this parking lot that you see here, it's pure sand. And another great thing about that parking is it is, again, free. This beach sits more in the middle of Minnesota Key. So at the north end of Minnesota Key, you'll have Minnesota Beach. And at the south end is Inglewood Beach. Sitting right in the middle is Blind Pass. There are many different spots where you can launch your kayak as well as your boats. And in that kayak launch area, there's playgrounds, picnic tables, things along those lines. Near the beach, there's bathrooms. And at this beach, you can find sharks, teeth, seashells, and there's lots of great sand. The 
there's a big variety of homes in this area from old to new condos mobile homes villas and single family homes if you're looking to buy or sell a home in the area make sure to call text or email us i am a local realtor here my information will be in the description box below phone number is 941-221-1897 call or text at any time we're always gonna have your best interest and happiness in mind when buying or selling a home in the area popping up on the screen is a full playlist about life in inglewood florida hit the like button if you found the video helpful and live breezy, breezy.